welcome uh, to our weekly look ahead at the markets here at markets.com. Uh, my name is Neil Wilson, I'm the Chief Market Analyst, and uh, we're just keeping an eye open on what's happening next week. Um, key events, Trump v. Biden round two is probably not going to happen. Um, bank earnings get the, uh, the US earnings season underway. Um, we need to keep an eye out on that what's going on with the election of course but the bank earnings will be the main thing that we're keeping an eye on um we've got the calendar open here you can see the uh all the big macroeconomic events that are coming up um for example uh chinese export data us cpi numbers coming up on tuesday uh crude oil stocks as ever on wednesday um and then on thursday um we have further uh crude oil inventory data to keep, uh, to keep your eyes out for their uh, core CPI numbers for the Eurozone up coming up on Friday. Um, bank earnings, so uh, Citigroup, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, all reporting um, on October the 15th. Uh, Q2, of so, course, saw a big surge in uh, in their trading revenues, th- over 33 billion for the big Wall Street banks in total, biggest in a decade for a single quarter, but bad loan provisions uh, were uh, significantly higher. Um, so those bank earnings are going to be a big driver of the market. Um, as I say elsewhere, keeping your eyes open, stimulus talks. Um, on Friday, U.S. Senate, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said a new stimulus deal is unlikely in the next three weeks before the election. He also said that um, it was unlikely to get an airline-only bill. So um, stimulus probably is coming, but it's probably not coming in the next three weeks, seems to be the overall uh, story um, of, the, uh, of the week ahead. As I say, uh, keep your eyes open for the you know, events around the, the U.S. election, polling data and so on. Um, Donald Trump might just be starting to edge back in on the key battlegrounds, um, but you can keep up to date with that uh, here on the calendar. That gives you all the macroeconomic data. And then, of course, with the um, financial commentary uh, section here in, uh, in, in, the web, in the platform. So uh, a few things to look out for next week, and I wish you a good week's trading. Thanks for watching.